So I want to tell you a little bit about the uh, James Bond movie coming up in, uh, was it November 8th, November 9th now? I went to a media screening last Thursday, two weeks before it comes out. That's right. I used my (laughs) E-list celebrity status here in this city to take advantage and check out the new Skyfall James Bond movie. And I'll tell you what, they, you know, they asked for comments afterwards, right? And uh, so next to my name, I had them put refreshingly slower pace for a Bond movie. Huh? That's pretty. You're very impressive yeah. from a D lister like yourself yeah, to no, be no, invited no, to no, the no, Bond movie. No, no, I wish the D list. I, I said E list. I said E list. I'm down the. I'm down the list. So oh, I thought it came out because when I saw your tweet yes, last week yes. that you were going to the movie, no, I thought it was coming to, out the Friday. No, I went to the media screening. Oh, and, and I and I will tell you, it's definitely worth seeing. It's much much better than the second movie. Uh, with well, the Daniel last Craig. Bond, was the last bad. Bond. I, I'll tell you, I could not watch. I, I shut it off. I could not watch the the end of the movie because it was just so poorly. It just unraveled. There was yeah. no, it was just shoot him, bang him up. It was really just nonsensical. I couldn't enjoy it. But this one, Skyfall, was kind of an old school. It's a throwback kind of movie. If you like some of the older Bond movies, prior to the age of just you know, forget the plot. Let's just fight and chase each other in cars. This one had a lot of slower one on one scenes. I don't know if they were influenced maybe by the Batman movies, you know, where you had Heath Ledger and, and Christian Bale and that kind of dynamic, but um, there were some tremendous sort of one-on-one intense scenes. Not as many uh, gadgets as some of the other Bond movies. I don't want to say too much, but certainly, definitely worth checking out. How about Javier Bardem as a blonde and the villain in the James Bond movie? Fantastic stuff. And Daniel Craig is just, I, I, you know, when, you, when, he, when they announced him as Bond, you thought, ah, blonde, blue-eyed, I don't know. But now you can't imagine who the next Bond would be, right? He's just so natural as James Bond. So uh, definitely go check out Skyfall. It's, it's worth seeing. It'll live up to the hype, I, th- I think, anyway. And uh, just be prepared. It's not nonstop action, you know, you know, edge of your seat, you know, s- you know, fly by the seat of your pants or whatever the expression is. But uh, I would definitely highly recommend uh, checking it out. Uh, you know, I, I figure uh, Andy Murray could be the next James Bond. No, no, <laughs> I don't look at Andy Murray and think suave and and debonair. 